One of the security mechanisms that you and I have looked at when it comes to networking is the network access control list. And we loved how it would allow us to put in granular rules to block certain things. One of the things that we did was we blocked ping from a certain workstation as a demonstration of that technology. But that technology is limited from a firewall perspective because, of course, it is not going deep into packets. It's not going all the way up to the application layer of our OSI model stack. It's not able to guard against very sophisticated attacks that might take advantage of the payload of packets, for instance. Web application firewall does come to the rescue in Amazon Web Services. Because once again, this is a service that integrates heavily with security as well, we will find WAF and Shield underneath the security, identity, and compliance area. Here's the web application firewall and notice AWS Shield. This is specialized security software in the cloud from Amazon that will help protect against distributed denial of service attacks hitting your AWS resources. So this is great and we can definitely anticipate additional sophisticated Amazon Web Service security services in the future, by the way. So if you go to Amazon Web Services uh, Web Application Firewall, notice you're going to be configuring Web ACLs to guard against very common attacks that might occur inside your infrastructure. So you could come in here and you could say Web application control list and you could configure this for like a CloudFront implementation that you have serving up the web content around the world. The issue with this is it gets pretty complicated pretty fast. Let me show you. If I just name this test and we come in here and we select our CloudFront distribution and choose next, these create conditions and match conditions and constraints start to get very, very complex when it comes to actually setting this up. For people that are used to intense security work, this might not be that bad, but for a lot of us, this is pretty complicated stuff that we're trying to do. So one of the things that I'd like to demonstrate is how we can automate this through pre-built templates. And we know one tool that we have that would enable us to do that is cloud formation. Cloud formation, after all, allows us to automate the creation of resources that we need in Amazon Web Services through a template. And let's go in and demonstrate this. So I'm gonna create a new stack and I'm gonna use an S3 template that exists out there. I think I still have it on the clipboard, the URL. I do not actually. So let me grab the URL and paste it in there. What Amazon Web Services did for us was they created a common attacks JSON script. And this common attacks will create the web application firewall components that we would need to guard against very common attacks from bad IP addresses. So known bad IP addresses as the source of the request would be killed, SQL injection attacks would be stopped, cross-site scripting attacks would be stopped. So this is very, very powerful stuff here that's being built for us. So we'll say next, and then I'll just give this stack a name like my web application firewall. And the name that will be given to the web ACL will be common attack protection. That's great. We'll choose next and we don't need to tag it. We could of course, but we'll just choose next for brevity's sake in the demonstration and we will create this. So this will take a bit to create, but what it's doing for us, remember, is it's giving us all the web application firewall components that we would need to guard against these very common and sometimes lethal web attacks. So after some time, this process completes in cloud formation, as you can see, and look at the events. You think this is sophisticated? There's SQL injection rules being created and match rules. And if we scroll down, we can see there's IP address sets and all kinds of things being built in order to properly protect the web application that we are serving up via CloudFront from these common attacks. So now we're ready to go back 
to our web application firewall. So I'll go back there and inside the web application firewall, we can see that we have this new web ACL created called common attack protection, thanks to the template. Awesome. Now what we need to do is go in there, of course, and associate it with the CloudFront distribution that we have created. So here we can see the rules of our web ACL and they're guarding against those various types of attacks. And we just need to add an association with our CloudFront resource. And here's our CloudFront resource that we created in our CloudFront nugget. We'll choose add and that's it. The CloudFront association is successful and our shiny new web access control list is guarding against some of those common attacks. So in this nugget, we learned about the web application firewall, a very powerful layer three firewall that we can add to our Amazon Web Service implementation to guard against all kinds of sophisticated attacks. We leveraged cloud formation in order to quickly build a nice web ACL rule set from a template and assign that to our CloudFront distribution. I hope you found this nugget informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.